Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're told that this curve, y equals x to the fourth plus ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, has a tangent line when x equals zero, with the equation y equals two x plus one, and a tangent line when x equals one, with the equation y is equal to two minus three x. So, we're given four points of information here. We're told that when x equals zero, the derivative of x or the derivative of y equals 2. How do we know that? Because the slope of the tangent line is equal to the value of the derivative. So the value of the derivative when x equals 0 would be y prime of 0. When x equals 1, we're told that the derivative is negative 3. Again, slope of the tangent line is equal to the value of the derivative. Also, if this line intersects the curve when x equals 0, then we know that the point 0 and then 2 times 0 plus 1 is on the line, right? Since 0, and then this is just 1, since 0, 1 is the contact point, or since 0, 1 is the value of, or is the point when x equals 0 of this curve, of this line, and it intersects the curve at that point, this point is on the curve. Same thing when x equals 1 with this line, 1, 2 minus 3 times 1, therefore 1, negative 1, is the tangent point, therefore it's on the curve and the line. So we know this, 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 and this is going to give us four equations to solve for our four variables a, b, c, and d. First we have to come up with our derivative. The derivative of x to the fourth, we have a power function, so you bring down the exponent. And your new exponent is the old one, minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. Plus, get the coefficient out of the way first, bring down the exponent. The new exponent is the old one, minus 1. Plus, take your coefficient, bring it out first, multiply it by the exponent. x to the 2 minus 1 is just 1. x to the 3 minus 1, I should just get that into the right form is 2 plus cx, uh, x to the first power, the derivative of this is just going to be its coefficient, which is c, and then plus 0. So our derivative is 4x cubed plus 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. When x is equal to 0, this is equal to 2, therefore 2 is equal to 4 times 0 cubed plus 3 times 0 3a, sorry, times 0 squared, plus 2b times 0, plus c. 0, 0, 0 are all multiplied in those terms. So these are all 0. They all add to 0. So this side is just 0 plus c, which is just c. We get that c is 2. Now, our next piece of information, y prime is equal to um, negative 3 when x is equal to 1. So plugging in negative 3 for y prime, we can now plug in 1 for x. So 4 times 1 cubed times 3a times 1 squared plus 2b times 1 plus c equals negative 3 equals 4 times 1 cubed is 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3a times 1 squared is 3a times 1 is 3a plus 2b times 1 is 2b plus c we know is 2. Negative 3 equals 3a plus 2b plus 4 plus 2 is plus 6. Subtracting by 6 on both sides, we get negative 9 is equal to 3a plus 2b. This is as far as we can get with this equation right now. But we also know that this point, 0, 1, is on the line. Therefore, if we plug in 1 for y and 0 for x, we will get an equation that is true. So y is equal to x to the fourth plus ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, just rewriting that, therefore plugging in 1 for y, that's equal to 0 to the fourth plus a times 0 cubed plus b times 0 squared plus c times 0 plus d, plugging in 0 for x everywhere we see it. Again, all these terms in a similar way to this are just going to be 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, so 1 is equal to 0 plus d, which is d. Now, almost have enough to find the rest of the um, unknown coefficients. We have d and we have c. We need to find a and b. 
We're going to do that with one last thing. We know this point is also on the line, so in a similar way to plugging in 1 for y and 0 for x, we're going to plug in negative 1 for y and 1 for x. So negative 1 equals 1 to the 4th plus a times 1 cubed plus b times 1 squared plus c times 1 plus d. So negative 1 equals 1 plus, since 1 to the 4th is 1, plus a times 1 cubed is a times 1 is a, plus b times 1 squared is b times 1 is b, plus c times 1 is c, plus d. We know d and we know c, so we say negative 1 is equal to 1 plus a plus b plus 2 for c plus 1 for d. Negative 1 is equal to a plus b plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. Therefore, subtracting by 4 on both sides, we get a plus b is equal to negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. Multiplying both sides by negative 2, we'll go as 10 is equal to negative 2 minus 2b. Why did we multiply by negative 2? Because now we can use elimination. Um, adding these two equations, negative 9 plus 10 is 1, is equal to 3a minus 2a is a plus 2b minus 2b is 0, so a plus 0 is a. a is equal to 1. Now we have 3 of our constants. We just need one more. We just need to solve for b. Luckily, we know that negative 5 is equal to a plus b. So therefore, negative 5 is equal to 1 plus b, since a is equal to 1. Subtracting on both sides by 1 gives us negative 6. So therefore, we are looking for y is equal to x to the fourth plus ax cubed. a is 1, so it's just x cubed, plus bx squared. b is negative 6, so it's minus x squared, plus cx. c is 2, so plus 2x plus d would be plus 1. That is our final equation. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.